Howdy folks, Kirk and Jason here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. The question is, with these recent storms, which are the highest in what, 30 years? Can excess rain cause cracking in stucco? Yes, vibration is the next, but rain is the first. I'm going to show you a house we did about six months ago. Now this, this got nothing to do with the rains, actually a little bit. What happens, uh, this is an addition right here, and they didn't do it right to begin with. We did a maintenance-free color coat. A maintenance-free color coat is one-eighth to one-quarter inch thick. And what that does is it unifies walls. Now, if you notice this wall here, it's uniform now because we did this color coat about six months ago, somewhere like that. But what I was telling Ernie here, he's search and rescue pilot for the Navy, was... This crack here, we can cover it, but it's going to come back because no amount of stucco. And he says today, he says, well, what if you, what if I paid you to triple up the stucco? I said, dude, if I put two inches of stucco here, it's not going to fix this. But anyway, this is not the point of this video. The point of this video is the the recent rains in Santa Cruz, Piers disappeared, the cement boat at Rio de Mar gone. Uh, just some of the things I noticed. People are moving out of houses because of the basements, uh, flooding. This is the worst storm in 30 years, guys. But what we have here, I'm going to show you the worst case on this because we're just doing some minor touch-up. Now, the, con the rains lifted the concrete. Now, this concrete has wire and rebar in it because Ernie does things like I do, way over the top. So, the concrete and rebar and six inches thick here or one inch thick here. What's going to crack? What's going to give? What's the weak link in this chain? The stucco. So, what I told him is, dude, we'll just take this off right here. What we do is we just scrape it off. Now, this is the worst part on the house. We scrape that off, guys. Now, you notice... See all this blue in the back of here. I just happened to use a bonding agent called Weldcrete on this particular house. You can use Quickcrete. It's white. The, the won't show. But as I told him, and we were doing another one of Jason's jobs, and we were talking about the exact same thing. I'm going to put both the video here we did for the original color coat and how we did it, and Jason's job, which is we we're doing the same thing. I was telling the folks, I said, guys, you've got concrete here. And... If we get some rains, this could happen. I didn't expect a 30-year monster storm. Uh, anyway, so we, this is, it's such, it's really simple to fix, guys. But here's the point. Scrape it off. Put a little bit more bonding agent on here. And you can see the bonding agent. I just pulled this off. And we match the color. When it's wet, it darkens just like a brick because it's maintenance-free. I'm going to take you guys around here and show you a couple other things. Okay, guys. And over here... Um, had to go to a minefield to get here. This is stamped concrete also. It looks like flagstone. It is not. We got a little bit of buckling here because, again, hundreds of tons of water here lifts it up. And so we got that little bit and we got this little bit. Now, Ernie, my buddy here, uh, search and rescue, this is how he treats us. He's like, guys, I got coffee, I got donuts, I got water for you. And I thought, what a guy. Makes it so I don't mind coming back to do this little touch-up for nothing. But it's normal, guys. This stuff is not what a color coat maintenance-free finish is supposed to repair. This is cosmetic. It, got, it did its job. It got rid of all the bad stuff. That's funny. Jay and I were coming here. <laughs> and we've seen a whole bunch of police cars. How many of you guys do this? Jay was driving. I was a passenger. And I thought, oh, crap. And I put my seatbelt on. And then I made a, a joke. I said, there must be a, a donut shop around here. I kid you not. There was Krispy Kreme. There was like five cars. Now, I got buddies who are police officers. They're going to hear that and say, Kirk, man, what are you trying to say? But anyway, uh, getting off of that and back on the reality. Over here, can you focus in on that, Jay? All right, now that wall doesn't have a crack. Why? Because it's both, even though it's uh, into the concrete, it still does not have the cement where it locks it in, but it is locked in in the foundation itself. This is how cold it is, guys. I got three shirts on, and I'm cold right now. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Sun is shining. Yesterday was hail and rain, and today it's sun is shining. I'm thinking, wow, it's cold, guys. Now, I know people in the UK would say, Kirk, you bloody wuss. One guy did say that, and I thought, 
I was humoring him. I said, dude, what's that mean? And he said, that means you're half wuss and half puss. And I thought, man, he's on to me. But man, the cold beats us up. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to come around here. I'm going to show you one more thing because um, Ernie, the guy here, oops, watch yourself. Let's walk this way, Jay. Can you focus on that chimney there? Because it will zero in. Now, Ernie had told me, he said, Kirk, I'm going to get a new roof. And they told me that if you come in before, then they do the roof, it's going to crack. And I said, well, contraire, mon frere, that there's some truth to that. If it's a brand new house, it, it will crack like an egg. But this house has been here 60 years. It's already settled. So they can come before us or after us. I said, your choice. So they came before us. And no cracks on the wall. Why? because the house already settled. It's been here 60 years. However, I didn't anticipate they might have to put a new skirt. So I told him, hey, don't worry about it, man. We'll get up there and I'll just color coat that whole side right there. And then the back side is similar. I said, no charge, man. We'll just take care of it for you. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. And I'll take you on the other side to show you uh, how we're gonna do it. I wanna point out one thing, guys, because of these recent rains, a lot of my neighbors' houses flooded and they uh, we're in Alameda where the water table's close. Uh, it's only like two feet off the ground. So a lot of my neighbors are moving out because the house is flooded. But if you see the, this, this uh, tar right here, now notice it looks like it's from the early ages. There was this much water here, guys. It was up to here. Cars were going by real slow. Again, this is a 30 year storm. Last thing I want to do is I want to point out something in the front, too. I'm just kind of flexing the knowledge, guys, to tell you what to anticipate if you do a color coat. All right, guys, I just want to show you the front here because Ernie said, how come we don't have any cracking here? Well, the porch is existing. It's 60 years old. Right in here, it flexes, so there's no cracking. There's no cracking here. There's no cracking here. And again, we had the worst storm in 30 years for over a month. Right here, no cracking. How come? No cracking right here. Because there's an expansion here, a natural expansion. This is already separated from the, um, from the stucco. Always put a piece of wood in here, guys, if you're going to butt the, stucco, the concrete next to the stucco. We're going to put in this video my own place, and I'll explain that a little deeper. Also, I want to point out with what we're doing on a couple jobs here. We've got like three weeks, four weeks of solid rain. We had flash floods in Santa Cruz, for example, the boardwalk as well as Rio Del Mar. Those bridges are gone. The docks, the wharfs, they're gone because of all the rain we've had. We do need the rain. Uh, I'm going to point something out. Even with stamped concrete, this is four inches to six inches thick. It's got wire on dobies, plus I rebarred it. Uh, this was like 25 years ago. I do everything in excess. You see this crack here? This crack here is brand new. How do you know it's brand new? There's no dust, dirt, or moss in it. And why did it come after 25 years? We had an abundance of rain. Right now, California is hit with the most rain it's had in like 100 years. Do we need the rain? Absolutely, we need it. Uh, some of the side effects of the ground, when it's so saturated, it will lift. And it will lift and crack even concrete. And this has been... Underneath has been beefed up as I like to do things. I'll show you another thing to prove that example of the rain and how it'll crack your stucco house. Um, well, let me see here. Let me show you something here. We got a situation where my buddy, he's got the concrete next to the house. And so what's going to crack, guys? Four inches of solid concrete or one inch of stucco. Now this is wood. I'm just proving a point. This has a piece of wood here. That wood acts as an expansion. So if you have that on a house, you're less likely to get a hairline crack on the house itself when the stucco or when the concrete meets the stucco. What'll crack? Four inches of concrete or one inch of stucco. You can bet your butt it's going to be the one inch of stucco. Another point, guys. Now this was in here a long time. Now I used to have an inch right here. It was it was uh, so bad I had to put this little piece of wood right here because I couldn't close the gate. Now, <laughs> now it won't close. Why? Because wood expands too, guys. If you have cracks in your stucco, caulk them. That's a simple solution. Caulk those cracks because if it, 
if the wa the rainwater goes through the cracks, it could hit wood, and it could expand that wood. That wood expands, breaks the paper. So do your caulking. And if you see your stucco house, which you probably will in California right now, hairline cracking, don't worry about it, but just put some caulking in it because this is what happens, guys. All this rain expands and it just cracks stucco and concrete and tar, too. The roads are cracking, everything. Now, we had, <coughs> I'm just throwing this in here, guys. We had a flash flood uh, yesterday and this this whole area was uh, white with hail. Jay just happened to be on the roof there. And I, was th I, I said, wow, this is kind of cool, huh? We got all this hail and rain. And he says, no, Dad, it's not cool. I'm up here. And he got drenched, but he was wearing his rain gear. But the point is, guys, the cracks are normal right now because we are in a, a wet, wet winter. We do need the rain. Anyway, I just thought I'd prove that and prove a point here because too many people are panicking. Don't panic, guys. It's necessary and normal. All right, guys. After all that rambling, let me show you how we repair this stuff. What you got to do is you got to wet the wall. Wet it. It's wet. And if you paint on it, the paint will show because this is porous and this is sealed. Anyway, I'm going to fix that too while I'm here. Just like we got a bunch of tar out on the other side. Anyway, what you do is Jay mixed up this cement right here this is color coat and what you do is you get it just right where you wet this you wet this if it's on the money then it's on the money will there be a very discoloration sure but not as bad as it looks now like say this painted surface here where they dripped paint from here all I got to do is is cover this and while I'm at it okay while I'm at it here's the bottom piece all right so I'm going to take it right to it and come up to it and feather that in. And once that's feathered in, I'll show you how we, we match that. It's just a sand finish. Say like it right here. Okay. Let me get a little bit of mud on this guy here. This is how simple it is, guys. I already did say I'm going to take this spout and put it back where it was or put it right here to cover this. That's the best way to hide it is to cover it cover it up with something like that and no problemo you never see it so get way up here come on down and that's how easy it is guys it's not a big deal and this is a standard color it's uh color is this jay shablib shablib is base 100 base 100 is Hmm? X12. X12. Base 100 X12. And it's a pretty simple color to match. When you start getting into those fancy colors, there's a lot of bleeding, a lot of discoloration, and it's very, very tough to match the, if you need to. But again, guys, this is rain. This is lifting. It's normal. You fix it like so. You take a green sponge float, and where they got a little carried away with the paint like right here anytime you wet stucco you could see if a painted surface so what they did is they got some boo-boos here we just get them out we just float them out like so and when this dries <laughs> is it going to match a hundred percent not really but is it going to be better than what they have of course let me get it right here too they got it all right now here's what i do i take a green sponge float and all this is is i'm bringing back the aggregate i'm bringing the sand out Boom. There's nothing to it, guys, if you know how to do it. And again, all this stuff, it just takes practice. Let's go back right here for a sec. All right. You got to wet the wall in order to do this. If you try this on a drywall, you're just going to have a, an eyesore. Now, what we're going to do is, now that I'm done here, we got to go up on the roof. Because even though I said... Uh, yeah, we won't get cracks on the wall if they do the roof because the house is settled. Uh, they, they got it here and there. So we're going to go up there next. And I told my buddy, hey, don't worry about it, man. No, no charge. Don't, no worries. We'll just get up there while we're here and just uh, respread that little area. The roofers actually didn't do bad. They just didn't match the color. So we're going to go up there next.
All right, guys, we thought we'd show you one last thing since we're on here. These talk videos are a drag. But say, for example, now, I told him not to worry about the roof. It won't crack. I didn't tell him this because I didn't know about it. Anyway, they put a uh, new skirt here. So they, they patched around here, and they just used raw stucco. So again, the hose is here to wet this. What happens if I try to put stucco, a color coat on a dry finish? It absorbs instantly. I'll show you one last thing. And I'm just taking some of the stucco out of this bucket. Put it on this hawk. Because I'm going to just spread out the whole chimney here. Um, if I go from here to here, just where it's a beat up. Like say here. And leave it at that. That would probably blend in, but I'm here. So I'm gonna hit the whole thing. All right. And note too, <laughs> uh, last time I was here, I told my buddy, I said, man, you better take that spark arrestor off and take it down and clean it. And he said, why would I do that? I said, well, you see the chimney across the street. Now that chimney, when it rains, it bled. That just means that all the, uh, say, soot, soot will come off. And when the soot comes off, it'll bleed down the side of the chimney. So when I got here, he says, oh, you know what? I took your advice. I had cleaned that. And I thought, good job, man, because if you had not cleaned it, uh, other than us redoing this, the whole front would be streaked. So, okay, I just applied this, and what I do is I take a sponge float. This is sand finish. The sand finish is done with a sponge float. You bring out the sand or the aggregate. Here we go, boom, hit it here, take it up, hit it down here, and just float it. This is, we just, again, this is called a float, and it's to float it or bring out the sand, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm matching what we did already about six months ago. Boom, that's all there is to it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, you see that, guys? Nothing to it. So you guys don't need to call us unless we did the original work. And that's it. It's, it's, I'm going to hit this here and here, and we're done. Anyway, my name is Kirk. Jason's on the camera. We thank you guys for watching, and as usual, see you guys on the next one. All right, folks, we want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoy the videos that we put out, please like and subscribe so that we can keep making these videos for everybody. And as always, from the, from the entire, entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.